Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I'm Shane, and this is episode number 42. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can go to codekarate.com and also sign up for the newsletter. Today we are going to talk about two modules that add extra fields to what comes with core Drupal 7. We're going to look at the link module and the email field module. These are relatively basic modules, but I use them in a lot of the Drupal websites that I build, and I'm sure if you've built a few, you've probably used them as well. And if not, well, now you can learn a little bit about them. So the link module is basically going to allow you to create a field that a link can be added to or can be input into. And you can have a title for the field and a whole bunch of different things. So we'll go over the basics of that and the email field module is a module that will validate that it's a valid email address. It also as you can see it turns addresses into mail to links and you can do a couple other things as well. We'll go ahead and get started. I am on my Drupal website right now and I'm going to download e the email and the link module. I'm also going to enable both of those modules. So now that those are good to go, I can I'll come to the modules page just to show you how it looks. You can see the email or email module is turned on and the link module is turned on. You can see there's no configuration options here, but what this does allow you to do is this is going to allow you to create a content type and add these fields. So I'm going to just add a quick test content type so we can test these fields out. I can leave everything else the same for now. And I'll go into the manage fields. And I'm going to add a link field you can see there's an option for link here and there's only one widget to select from so I'll save that. There's going to be a couple options on this link page. You can have it validate the URL which is a nice feature so I'll leave that checked. You can make the URL optional and what this will do is if you add a title and no URL it'll just be a blank or plain text you can have an optional title, a required title, static title, or no title if you want. No title at all. I'll leave optional. You can, of course, set the max length and the URL display cutoff. So if it goes over this, it'll use just this little ellipsis field at the end of it. Uh, you can have it open in a new window, which I will go ahead and have it open in a new window. You could have it be a nofollow link if you wanted, so I will do that. You can allow a user to enter a title attribute. There's just a whole bunch of options here you can look through and use, but I will just go with that for now. I'm also going to add an email example field. And the only widget there is a text field. As you can see, there's not as many options here, so it's just pretty much the basic text field op options. So we go ahead and save that. And now if I go to add content and I add a test fields content type, you can see that there's a link and I have an optional title here. And then I can also have an email field, which I can put in my email address. And you can see that now I have my link, which shows up here. I also have my email address, which is if you look down below, down here, you can see that it adds the mail to. So this will go ahead and send an email to this email address. And we'll go ahead and open up our developer tools here you can see that the target on this is blank so it'll open in a new window 
and the rel is no follow. You can see tested it works. So everything's looking good. Let's go ahead and just show that it will validate these. So if I just add something that's not a real URL, try to save that. It'll come in, come in and of course validate that it's a real URL. So that works, and we can also do the same thing for an email address. And that, of course, works as well. So as you can see, these are very simple modules, but they are modules that are extremely useful, and you may need, depending on what types of content types you are building out for your Drupal 7 website. So go ahead and try them out, take a look. And if you have any suggestions for other videos that you want me to post, you can see my email address here, of course. You can send me an email directly. Use the contact form at codekarate.com or, of course, contact me on Twitter at smthomas3. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal, and we will be back again tomorrow.